Are you considering living in a golf course community? Yes, please. Well, before you make any decisions, you need to watch this. Many people dream of living in a golf community with lush greenery, amazing amenities, and a luxurious lifestyle. But what they don't tell you is the real deal. The good, the bad, and the ugly. In this video, we're gonna talk about the five truths about living in a golf community that no one else is telling you. Number one is the cost of living. Living in a golf community can be expensive. The cost of the home may be higher than a comparable home in a non-golf community. And this is all due to the added value of the golf course. Additionally, there's going to be homeowners association fees, which may or may not include the maintenance of the golf course. Now, this is really gonna depend on if the course is private or not. Most often, the cost to maintain the course is going to come from the greens fees for the public courses. And if it's private, the fees to maintain the course are going to be coming from the members dues. But the HOA fees for these communities will cover the common area maintenance and all of the other amenities within the community. And because oftentimes these communities have pretty extensive amenities, your HOA fees will likely be higher. higher. You know, for those that want to live in a golf community and it's that important to them, they don't mind all the additional fees that they potentially have because of all the additional amenities that they will get living in that community. Now here in the Scottsdale area, we have many different options for golf course communities. And one of the nice things here is that our public courses are rated so high that when you go and you play on some of these courses, they really feel more like a private course. And then some of those other fees can be reduced. So if living in a private exclusive golf community is not top on your list, then you could potentially live in another community with a extremely highly rated public course and save a little bit of money. Number two, golf noise and traffic. Now, if you are not a golfer, you might not realize the noise that golfers create. I know, you thought it was a quiet sport, right? Well, it is, with a few exceptions. Golfers tend to start early in the morning, and the sound of the golf ball being hit by the club can be loud. The other thing you need to be aware of is where are those cart paths. If you have a cart path directly behind your home, you are going to be seeing and hearing golfers pass by the back of your home all day long. Now it does make a difference where your home sits on the fairway, but regardless, if you have the cart path directly behind your home, you are going to be seeing, hearing, and experiencing these golfers every day. And if the community allows for golf carts to be driven within the community, then you have to know you're gonna be dealing with that in the community as well. However, if you are a golfer, being able to drive your cart from the house to the course could be an absolute dream. Number three is privacy. Living in a golf community can be kind of a double-edged sword when it comes to privacy. On one hand, the community as a whole can offer some more exclusivity because you have to get through a manned guard gate before you're allowed to enter the community. However, a home sitting right on the golf course may limit your privacy. Golfers may have a view into your backyard and patio while you're out there. And if a golfer loses their ball and needs to come closer to your yard to look for their ball, you might feel as if they are actually looking in your yard which they might be. You might find more privacy in your backyard if the cart path is on the other side of the fairway from your home. And if your home is positioned well on the fairway so that you are not in hook or slice range. But regardless, you need to know that when you're living on a golf course, you will likely have some view fencing, which allows for these expansive, beautiful views, but it also allows people to see into your yard. Here in the Scottsdale area, for those that want to live on the course, they do so for a very specific reason. They want to have those expansive views. They want to have the view not only of the golf course, but potentially mountain and or city lights. Now you can live in a golf community and not live on the course, which can take care of that privacy issue. It may also negate some of those noise issues we talked about. But even if you are not on the golf course, if you are near the course or near any of the common areas, you will likely still hear lawn mowers and blowers as everyone's out there taking care of and maintaining all of those beautiful amenities. Number four, private versus public courses. The type of golf community that you live in can make a big difference in the overall experience. Public courses tend to be busier and will have more traffic, while private courses offer a more exclusive experience with tee times that are farther spaced out. Now, some of the public courses here can feel more like a private course, like the TPC, which is where the Phoenix Open is played, and Greyhawk, just to name a few. These do have homes that back them, as well as homes that are spread throughout. The greens fees at places like this are more expensive than other normal public courses or municipal courses, which allows them to add more spacing to their tee times so that your pace of play can feel much more relaxed. Now, when it comes to private courses, these will always require an additional membership, which does not always come with home ownership. 
So in addition to the HOA fee that we talked about earlier, you are also going to have that membership initiation fee as well as your monthly membership dues. But for those dues, you not only get the golf course, but you usually get a beautiful club as well as dining, tennis, fitness, a spa, and many other social events. Number five, golf course maintenance. While living on a golf course can be absolutely beautiful, there are some downsides that need to be considered. The maintenance, to care for a golf course can be noisy, especially if they are mowing and caring for the golf course early in the morning, which here in Scottsdale happens most of the time. Now this also falls into the lack of privacy we talked about earlier, because as the maintenance people take care of the golf course, they will likely be getting kind of close to some of the backs of these homes just to care for the course. But for some, that might just feel like they're getting too close. Now I have lived on a golf course and the only thing that really got to me was that early morning mowing during certain times of the year. And when you live on a course, you just don't have control over what time they mow the lawn. So you just have to be aware of it. Now there also may be chemicals and pesticides that they are using to maintain the course, which could be a concern for those with allergies or environmental concerns. However, on the positive side, living on a golf course can provide stunning views and a real sense of peace. Living in a golf community can be a wonderful experience, but it is not without its challenges. Here in Scottsdale, many people that come to live in our golf mecca will happily trade some of these inconveniences just to experience living on the golf course. Now, if you'd like to learn about some of our top golf courses in Scottsdale, make sure you take a look at these videos right here. If I can answer any questions for you, please feel free to reach out. As always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.